Hi, in this video, I show you how to turn your PC into private branch exchange. We will use FreePX to do this. The free PBX can be copied to a USB key for easy install. You can download the ISO image to your local computer from freepbx.org. After you have downloaded and installed Rufus, use the browse button to navigate to the location of the .iso file. Insert a USB thumb drive and select its drive letter. The image will be written to the USB thumb drive. It's highly recommended you are connected to the internet when running the installer. Configure the computer to boot from your bootable media with the free PBX installer, if not loading enter your BIOS settings to select the adequate media to use. The installer will begin with a prompt to select the asterisk and free PBX version you wish to install. The installer will copy all required files in the background, but won't finish until you set the root password. Click on the root password box to set your root password. Once the install has completed it will ask you to reboot. Click on reboot button as seen below, your system is now installed. you to log in using the username root and the password you selected earlier. Go to another computer on the same network and enter the IP address of the new PBX into your web browser. Set up the web GUI username, password, notification, and automatic update settings. From here, you'll be welcome to your free PBX and asked if you would like to activate your system. You have successfully installed the free PBX distro. From the top menu click Applications. From the drop down click Extensions.
How to using a remote extension with free PBX. Forward the required ports from your router to your PBX. You also have to forward some ports on your router, so that phones that are outside of your local network can reach the PBX through your router. The default installation of free PBX is configured to use UDP port 5060 as the SIP signaling port and UDP ports 10000 to 20000 as the RTP media ports. Thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe.